Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome to another Grounded Update video where today we're going to be talking about Grounded Update 6.0 and more importantly where to find fireflies. A lot of people have been asking me this question lately because they're like well Sim I can't find them in the update where are they and even through my entire playthrough you guys will be able to see during my live stream that I was also not able to find them but it is currently the correct time of day for me for the fireflies to be spawning excuse me while I demolish this mosquito here. Be gone, mosquito! One more. Okay, good. So now that the mosquito's taken care of, I'll show you guys what happens. So, what ends up happening is they get stuck. Where do they get stuck? They get stuck over here on top of the ledge. This is one of the glitches that's currently in the game. So you come over here, and right up here, they end up getting stuck this area right here. For some reason, they just don't spawn in. So, I sat there and said, well... If they're just not spawning in the right spot or they're getting stuck and they're just not there, maybe there's a way to get them unstuck. And of course, the Grounded developers, being as awesome as they are, did provide us a way to get them unstuck. And yes, that is using the bug um, unstuck command for the Grounded test server. Now, what I will tell you is they will soon update the game to make it so you don't longer have to do this. But there are two places where, this, where the uh, fireflies should be spawning. And that is in this pond area right here, the swampy area here, and also this swampy area here. They will spawn more often over in this swamp area than this one, but still, it is a very good idea to stay over here when you're hunting your fireflies. There is a lot of them that will spawn. They are kind of a rare spawn. I will tell you that they are kind of a rare spawn, but as long as you do this bug command you should be able to get it done and this is not using admin commands i know that i use console commands in order to fly around to show you guys where the fireflies are or where they're getting stuck but you do not have to do this what i'm going to do is i'm going to wait for it to become night now and then i'm going to do the debug which is right here come in here game preview debug and fix creature locations i'm going to do that once it's actually nighttime because I want to show you guys what it looks like at night and then I'm going to show you guys a couple tips and tricks on how to fight them the easiest to take them down because like everything else in the game you always want to try to take things down the quickest and most efficient ways possible and I've already found a really quick way to do that so I'm going to go ahead and wait for it to become a little bit later right now it's 1859 I'm going to wait for it to be 20 and then as soon as it's 20 we are going to come back all right guys so this is what i was talking about you guys can see the fireflies right here here they are all nice and cute and adorable but they are stuck right here on the house making it so they're not actually going throughout the backyard like they're supposed to so what i'm going to do is i'm going to un uh toggle my bug mode here and then i'm going to go right over here go to game preview options and then do fix creature locations and that's going to move them okay now once i resume the game i'm going to start looking around and look here are the fireflies and now you can fight them now what you're going to say is sim they're up in the air how do i get them down and that's super easy too you're going to need a gas arrow to get them down and then there are actually a lot of them over here ah go away they are everywhere but be warned, they are going to try to float away. They're going to try to go to the house. So you're going to want to just do what you can to get them to come to the ground. <clears throat> so, like I said, I'm going to use gas arrows. And I'm just going to shoot it up towards the sky. And I'm going to try to peg one of them with a gas arrow to get it to come down to the ground. And then I'm going to kick the crap out of this uh, mosquito for being annoying. Oh, and here comes the good old firefly. Now, fireflies are super duper easy to kill. As you guys saw, I pretty much killed it with one hint with my mallet. Unlike these mosquitoes, which are really annoying and want to hit you many, many, many times. Goodbye. And then you pick it up and obviously bile and goop, iridescent scales, just like you're supposed to. But what are you going to do when you want to get more than one of them? Well, assuming how they do spawn over here, you're going to want to keep fixing creature locations because they like to just fly away. Like I said, they will just fly away. Here they are floating up here now, floating towards the house. Just on their merry way, off this way. I don't know why they keep doing this. This is in the code right now that they're having a little bit of an issue. <clears throat> but the best thing to do is just to keep debugging your bugs. So I'm going to go back over here, get out of the water. Debug them again. Game preview debug. Can't fix creature locations if that happens. Go back. Log out. So save your game. Log out and then log back in so back load 
here, go, and then you should be able to fix creature locations again. Now, once you fix them again, you're going to notice that there's going to be a lot of them around. I would try to aggro a lot of them at a time right now because they don't like to stay where they are. So, you know that they all spawn right there. I'm going to go ahead and get myself ready by getting out my bow. And I'm going to make sure that I have my gas arrows equipped. And then I'm going to go and fix my bug locations. Fix creature locations. Yes. Back. Resume. There they are. Gas arrow them all. For them all to come down here. And you notice the gas arrows do not do a lot of damage. But if you keep shooting gas arrows at the ground. Oh my god. They shoot goo at you. Around two gas arrows. Watch out for all the goo. Watch out for the goo. It hurts. Watch out for the goo. It hurts. The goo hurts bad. And then you die. So be careful. Use your uh, use your gas, but make sure if you do, don't do like I did and use a uh, a not use a gas mask. The best thing to do is to use your mint mallet and just smack the crap out of them. Okay, they're not very strong. They're about as strong as a weevil or a a worker ant. So just you take your time. I'm gonna go ahead and respawn in. I'm gonna load my game so I can do it again and show you guys. Okay, so here we are once again. I'm going to go into my debug menu. Game preview debug. Fix creature locations. Yes. Back. Uh, resume. Go into my inventory really quick. Equipped that. Equipped. And then equipped my gas arrows by leaving this menu. Pressing L. Grabbing those. And shooting the gas arrow up there to hit them. And hope and hopes and pray that you get at least one of them. Okay, like I said, once they start coming towards you, just grab your mint mace, not your mint mallet, and just smack them a couple times. They're about as hard as a worker ant, so they're super easy to kill. And as they come down, you're gonna get a bunch of them. Just make sure you start swinging away. They have a goo shooting attack that does quite a bit of damage. Okay, so you're gonna wanna avoid that. And then watch out for their melee attacks as well. They do not hit very hard, but like I said, just to be safe, keep your gas arrows out. Use your mint mallet. It's the best way to kill them. It's the most efficient way to kill them. And also, if you get stuck and you can't find any of them, just use your debug menu. It's super easy. And until they fix the update, that's going to be the way to find the fireflies. Now, once you have the fireflies, obviously, you'll still be able to come in here and go into your workbench gear and be able to craft your wonderful uh, firefly headlamp. And you're also going to be able to craft your um, firefly lantern. Now, there is one thing that a good friend of mine, Rodar, figured out how to do. And that is if you make a mannequin and you put the helmet onto the mannequin, the firefly helmet onto the mannequin, it actually shines a really bright spotlight that you could use for building other things in the future that could be pretty cool for all of you guys who are out there that really like to build things. So that's a little helpful tip for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But thank you guys all so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, make sure you guys hit that like button for me to let me know you guys want to see more. And if you guys want to see it, you know that Sim is going to make it. I have lots of live streams all the time, so make sure you guys subscribe today and turn your bell notification to all so you never miss them. I have many, many videos coming out that are going to be going all sorts of through all sorts of things that come to the grounded 6.0 update and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one